People ask me all the time why I love the Eliminator laser scope, and it's really simple for me. First and foremost, it's easy to use. If you take the time to calibrate the scope and then sight the gun in properly, it takes all the guesswork out of shooting long distance. You know, in this particular model right here is the Eliminator 3, and it's easy to use. Just like the previous Eliminator models, you push the button to turn it on, put the crosshairs on the target, hit the button again, it gives you the distance, and in the vertical uh, reticle, it gives you a illuminated dot. Wherever that dot's at, that's where your bullet drop is gonna hit. All you gotta do is put the dot on the target and squeeze the trigger. The other thing I love about the Eliminator is it's easy to use in a hunting situation. If you have a regular scope with a turret, you have to have a handheld rangefinder. You have to be steady with it. Range the target, turn your turret, look through the scope. Uh-oh, animal just moved, right? He just decided to walk into some trees. He came out 20, 30 yards later, but you're not sure. You've got to rearrange the target. Change your turret, get back in the scope. That takes time and you're going to miss vital, critical windows of opportunity to squeeze that trigger. With the Eliminator, you keep your eyes on the target, you constantly range, range, range as that animal's walking. When he stops and gives you the shot, you're already in the scope. You don't have to pull out and rearrange and turn, change your turret. You're ready to take the shot right now. And the Eliminator's reliable. I've had people say, oh, it's got electronics, this and that. Let me tell you something. Since the first generation Eliminator, I've been hunting with these scopes. I've had them in the Arctic at well below zero, all the way down to the desert in Sonora, Mexico, up over 100 degrees. No matter what the conditions, the Eliminator has never let me down. I've hunted with it consistently, and you can bet that it's the number one scope on all of my rifles whenever possible. Well, I got some shooting to get done, but that was your Steve's Outdoor Adventures tip of the week.